Hi, my name is Chris Lehman. I am a student physical therapist at Elon University. I'm also a licensed and certified athletic trainer. Today we're going to discuss what's known as high volt pulse current for uh, edematous uh, injuries. More acute, you can also use it for chronic, however, for, the, for our presentation demonstration this can be for acute injury. Based on a study done by Draper, he states that uh, high volt pulse current would actually be a good advocate to help reduce uh, acute edema in uh, an injury. So, uh, so based on that, we're going to use high volt. Acute injury with inflammation is actually more said as a negative polarity. So uh, for our patient here, he has suffered a massive uh, ankle sprain. We're going to kind of hit more on the inside of the deltoid ligament. Place the uh, electrode right here on the side. And then, I'm, and then you also want to place the dispersive electrode higher, usually about 12 to 18 inches. I try to go right about here, more of the muscle belly as well. And since this has got more of edema in it, we're going to use the negative, and so we're going to use the light charges repel. The black is negative, so we'll go here, and the red is positive. So we're going to use the negative to repel and the positive to help pull the swelling up. And this is to be a sensory parameter, so that way they feel it, and they also get the uh, benefits of the gate theory sensation to help kind of help with pain. The pulse rate should be about 120 pulses per second. The duration is basically as much as you can get as, well, as long as they can uh, handle without causing a uh, muscle contraction because right now that would be uh, contraindicated. Obviously active electrode is over the area where you want to get the most. And then from there we're going to slowly turn up to where they get a slow sensory feel. And we're not looking for a muscle contraction so if they say oh it feels good there we want to kind of turn it down to where they only feel just a little bit. From my background as an athletic trainer, I've used this before for multiple uh, ankle injuries. So I actually like to adjunct this with ice. I put ice over the uh, area to help kind of reduce the pain considering it's an acute injury. And I also like to have them elevate. So I'll have them on like a bolster or anything just to get the ankle elevated above the heart. And I'll have them do a little bit of actual, active muscle pumping, just a little bit to get the, the muscle firing, helping using almost a muscle, mil muscle milking technique. Not enough to injure the uh, muscle or the area that's already been injured, but enough to kind of help facilitate high volt, because I don't think high volt alone will fix this issue. The article states to use this four times a day, which I think as far as uh, physical therapy states, it's going to be harder to do with the patient, because we only see them usually one to two times maybe a week. Using this in the, the clinic in conjunction with them going home and doing maybe active pumping or using a, a portable TENS unit while they do active pumping with ice would help facilitate additional uh, edematous reduction in those joint areas. So obviously all this put together would help reduce and help further facilitate the time an injury to recovery would be.